the person who recommends testing varies. It used to be the medical oncologist who recommended it. Increasingly, for our breast surgeons, for example, uh, frequently the breast surgeons are now interceding early, and they actually have the genetic counselors in their clinic. So when patients are diagnosed with cancer, before I see them as a medical oncologist, that many of them are tested up front if they meet the criteria for testing. And that criteria could include multiple elements, such as many family members or more than one family member, first degree relative with early onset breast cancer, a patient with triple negative breast cancer up to age 60 with or without any family history, uh, a, a person of Ashkenazi Jewish background uh, with any breast cancer or ovarian cancer at any age, and many other factors. The reasons that surgeons like to test patients is because increasingly they're making a treatment decision up front. And so if a patient has a deleterious mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2, one of the things that the surgeon will discuss is prophylactic surgery at the same time they're undergoing their cancer operation. And many women, not all, but many women will opt for a bilateral mastectomy in that setting to treat a cancer, this is after diagnosis of a cancer, and uh, as well as prophylaxis in the contralateral breast. That's one recommendation, and certainly it's, dis uh, it's shared decision-making as to whether uh, the patient will opt for surgery or opt for increased surveillance, uh, and, and opt for chemo prevention or other strategies or multiple strategies available, but that information can be useful. On the ovarian cancer side, because the recent guidelines also recommend now essentially testing all women with epithelial ovarian cancer. So the, our gynecologic oncologists increasingly are referring the patients to uh, automatically to our genetic counselors for, for counseling and testing as well.